morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today on this lovely, lovely, sunny Monday morning leather bag lady weather report? It is supposed to get up to about 23, 24 degrees today. It was a little bit cool this morning. I was able to see my breath when I walked out the door. The weekend temperatures were up in the 30s again. Mother Nature is still menopausal, in my opinion. <laughs> It's just crazy, but uh, hopefully the weather will kind of regulate itself a little more moving forward because you just never know what you're going to wear or what, you know, like yesterday, uh, Pius and I were out in kind of, I had a skort and a t-shirt and it was chilly. So I don't know. But anyway, we'll talk about what we've been up to um, after I show you today's bag. Now, the color of today's bag is a color I do not come across very often. Um, leather is a leather is kind of a black, brown, burgundy, blue, dark blue, and I don't even get a lot of dark blue. So when I come across powder blue, baby blue, I get very excited. And as simple as the styling of this bag is, the color is just what steals the show. This bag is a very kind of structured shape, which I love. Um, still some flexibility, but it just, it's just fabulous. So unpacking some of the kind of special features, one being the color, is two, the strap. So... It comes apart, but I do believe it is kind of supposed to be worn as um, like a single strap. Um, I've called it spaghetti straps in the listing. It's a 21 inch strap drop. So it is a very nice shoulder bag and it is a higher sitting crossbody. Um, again, I'm a little bit uh, curvier and getting curvier by the freaking minute. We'll talk about that in a bit. <laughs> I stepped on the scale this morning and I was not happy. But anyway, so back to the bag. <laughs> um, nice gusset on the bag. It's just fabulous. Oh, let's take it off. So it's got a nice uh, front slip pocket. Great for your phone, which I cracked my phone this weekend. I've never cracked the screen on a phone ever. Again, if I remember, we'll talk about that. Um, beautiful inside. It is made in Mexico, Carlotta LIC Italia. There are some other bags by this uh, brand on Etsy, um, but nothing this color. It's just so unique in my opinion. The uh, lining has a little bit of fading, you can see. I'm not sure how lining in this exact position would get this way. I kind of have a feeling that maybe it was like that already. The lining is all uh, branded. There's some writing in gold here. I don't know what it says. It's not in English. But this is, to me, just quality. Beautiful little zipper pull that has a hang tag. And it also has the branding on that. Again, this kind of stuff costs money and it takes time. And when a company goes to that extent to add features to their items to me it just screams quality and I'm having a hot flash oh my good lord these hot I say it all the time these hot flashes are driving me crazy so that is today's absolutely beautiful bag and it is on Etsy already so if you are Shopping for something to go with your baby pink summer dress, your white summer dress, your yellow summer dress, your seafoam summer dress. Ta-da! This is the ticket. So there you go. So what's been going on? Last week was a bit of a, a weird week for Pius and I. I'm just looking to see if my fan is close by, which it isn't. Um... Pies had a couple of days off unexpectedly last week and we had a ball. We went thrifting and I bought some amazing, the pile of bags is, it's insane. I just, I go thinking we were on the bike 
and Pia said, I'll bring the extra luggage bag and we can bungee it. And I'm like, ah, I'm on the back of the bike going, okay. Two bags, we went to Ancaster, Brantford, which is my honey hole. So don't you be going to my honey hole. <laughs> and London, which used to be a bit of a honey hole for me. And obviously I don't go there very often because it's quite a ways away. But we just got on the bike in the morning and off we went. And I got so much stuff. We actually didn't need the extra luggage bag, but we had to get very, very creative when we packed the stuff in the uh, box of the bag or the box of the bike. So it was just fantastic. We, we had an absolute ball. So much so that it was actually a little bit of a conversation that there could be an opportunity to have a little bit of a change in the work week for Pius. And um, we're thinking about it. We're thinking about what works for our lifestyle. Being off on the weekends is great, but everything is so busy and expensive. We like to go away for a couple of days. We like to, you know, take off and get out of this hectic space. And the weekends, I never, ever would go to the falls on the weekend because the prices were double. And maybe having an opportunity to go during the week, not to have to battle the weekend rush at the grocery store, this and that. We don't have a huge social circle, so not being available on the weekends, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. So I'm not sure. We're thinking about it. Um, I think I mentioned to you last week that we had bought a van. Well, unfortunately, the seller of the van has decided to keep it. So now we're back looking again. And unfortunately, I am all over the place. Poor Pius. I think he's given up. Um, we've gone from a trailer to, um, you know, an E350 Extend camp like van. Now I'm kind of looking at a GMC Safari Ford Astro van. I just, the GMC Safari, I just love the shape of it. Now, the ones that have the running boards, I love it. But the running boards typically rot. So I don't know. I want something vintage, but I want something we can afford. And we're starting to creep up in our budget just because there's a lot of vans out there that are finished to have the inverters have the solar panels have but i just i just live a very thrifty life as i've if you follow me regularly you know how much of a struggle financially life is for me and i just don't know if i could handle the mental pressure of not having the buffer that I'm used to having. Um, I mean, I know I'm not on my own anymore. I know I have pies, but I don't rely. I don't want to rely on pies financially. Um, I want to be able to continue to stand on my own two feet. And I'm getting to know what we're like. We are not we want what we want and we want it now. And that's kind of why financially we're maybe not in the best of positions. <laughs> we're both the same. I'm just on a much smaller scale because I've never had the finances to be able to go out and buy big purchases. But um, we want to go out in the van now. I booked a camping spot in July because we thought we had this van already. I don't know. Poor Pius is like, I don't know what you want. You're all over the place. And he is right. I am all over the place. So I think I might just leave it up to him. Financially, I'm going to tell him what I can afford. And then we can go from there. I just, I just want to get out there and enjoy. And Pius is excited about it. I'm obviously excited about it. Um, and these vans are going like this. I'm supposed to be going to St. Mary's tomorrow to look at um, a van and then there's another van that we like. And then last night at the last minute, I kind of got this GMC Safari thing in my head because it's a very boxy van and I love boxy vehicles. And um, it just, it is small. It's more of a minivan, but I just feel like we could create an outdoor living space and that van would just be somewhere to sleep. 
And um, I don't know. I just think financially we could have that and still afford to do other things as well. So I don't know. We have to talk about it a little bit more. We're off to a Blue Jays game tonight. Uh, my clients just canceled my uh, appointment with them today. But the good thing is, is if the canceling on the day, I still get paid. So I don't know, sometimes feel a little guilty about that. But that is the rule. Uh, there has to be a 24 hour uh, buffer between canceling. So um, here we go. Pi has had an early start this morning because we are, as I said, off to a Blue Jay game this evening. And I'm looking at a van tomorrow. I'm taking my mom to Sarnia on Wednesday. My aunt is obviously still struggling with the passing of my cousin recently. Uh, Mother's Day, as you can imagine, was a real struggle for her yesterday. I had a fantastic Mother's Day. My son called me from BC. My daughter spent the day with me at Art Crawl on Friday, which was fantastic. I got there at 9.30, which is an hour earlier than I've ever gotten there, bearing in mind that this event doesn't actually pick up pace till 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. I got there at 9.30 a.m. and my spot was already taken. So I found another spot, which actually ended up being a little better. So, you know, you never know. Be, you know, change is not a bad thing. So, um... It was great. Sarah came, hung out with me most of the day. Pies came in the evening. I made some good money putting that towards our uh, East Coast trip. And um, life is freaking awesome. I just need to get a little bit more focus, which I say all the time. But also starting to embrace just who it is that I am. Do I need to ignore the fact that my arm gets twisted this much to go and do something fun when maybe I should be here working. <laughs> That's just the way it is. And I, it's not going to change. I want to be able to say it's going to change, but not so much. There are some work things that would change for me if uh, Pius's work week changes, which would be very positive. So who knows? There's lots of things, lots of balls up in the air at the moment. Um, what else? It was something else I was going to mention to you. Um, 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 um. Oh, it went in my head. I don't know. Is it menopause? Is it? No, not really. I've always been this way. I've just never been able to because I've always been so kind of restricted by, you know, finances and you know, feeling very negative about this space. We've actually started a little bit of a dialogue with the kids in front, albeit that we now have four cars parked out front. Um, who knows? It's uh, Pius took my little car to work this morning because his truck is still not working as it should be for a brand new truck. So it's going to the mechanic for a couple of days or to the dealership for a couple of days. So he was out in my little buggy this morning, which has a bit of an exhaust issue, but it sounds so badass. <laughs> but we've been having some, as I said, some dialogue with our neighbors in front. And, you know, maybe things are starting to kind of calm down a little bit. Again, I don't know. There's some faces I don't recognize, uh, two or three of them now. So... Whatever, it's got nothing to do with me as long as the driveway stays clear and the garbage is not all over the place. The noise is down to a dull, they were partying on Saturday, but hey, you know, we were partying too. We went uh, Friday, we went to Rosie's, had a brilliant night. Uh, Stevie O was playing our friend who uh, plays beautiful, excellent guitar. We had a few drinks, but this girl got on the scale this morning. And it was not pretty. So I had said to Pius already yesterday, yesterday was the first day that I felt really heavy. And I went on the scale this morning and I'm not wrong. So I am doing a Lent reboot. If you follow me regularly, you know that because of our move here, 
Lent kind of went south halfway through because I had a bit of a mental meltdown with the whole move and the packing and the kids in front in the driveway and all that kind of shit. That was not the time to be restricting myself. And needless to say, I didn't. So I think we're going to do a, a six, five, six week reboot. Um, what is today? The 15th. So two days in two days time, it'll be a month till we leave for our East Coast trip. So I, I need to take a break. So we'll be back into my Lent headspace, which is, you know, no um, booze, no chocolate, which, well, we did have some chocolate yesterday, <laughs> but I haven't had any for quite a few weeks and um, just trying to eat as clean as possible. So I'm really, I don't want to go on my trip feeling like this. We ache. We were so sore on and off the bike um, all weekend. Saturday, we were at Pius's grandkids. We were, we were all over the place. I think we've put about 1,400 kilometers on the bike already. I got burnt. Um, I don't know if it is a allergic reaction to the sunscreen I was using, or I just got too much sun in a short period of time because I know the sun is very powerful right now. But I'm prickly heat all over, itchy as all get out, and I'm using aloe, I'm taking Benadryl, you name it, I'm trying to figure it out because it is just, yeah, it's not bad now, but oh my God, I just want to rip my skin off. But anyway, so it's been a packed few days. And it doesn't seem to be getting any quieter. And that's just the world of the leather bag lady. So if you are following me regularly, you'll know it's just like this. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's a crazy world. And um, I love getting your comments and um, your kind of hellos and all that kind of stuff. So on that note, I'll love you and leave you. As my mom says, had a wonderful Mother's Day, like I said, with my mom and my kids and I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day all you moms out there and I will maybe talk to you tomorrow if I'm going to see this van yeah I should be able to talk to you tomorrow so bye everybody